Hi, I'm David Jacobson, co-founder of Fret Daddy. At Fret Daddy, our goal is simple. We want to help you master the guitar as quickly and easily as possible. Today's lesson is the second lesson in a series of free online lessons designed to teach you how to play the guitar. In order to get the most out of your lessons, we highly recommend that you study the lessons in sequential order. And we also recommend that you devote at least five to ten minutes each day to practice the lessons. So today I'm going to show you how to properly hold the guitar plectrum, or pick as it's commonly known as. Now you may have seen a lot of online tutorials about, to, about how to hold the pick properly, but all of them share, in my experience, a common deficiency, and that is that they don't take into account the fact that each human hand is unique and different. Well, today I'm going to share with you a secret about how to find the best way for you, with your unique hands, to hold the guitar pick. The first thing to note is that there are actually two ways to hold the guitar pick. The first way is ideal for soloing and playing individual notes. And the second way is perfect for light strumming. Both techniques will employ the physiology of your unique hand to find nature's perfect grip. The first thing to do is to form a loose hook shape with your strumming index finger. Now notice that in doing so, your finger automatically forms three nooks where the joints of your finger are bending. The first two nooks represent the secret of holding the pick in just the way nature intended. The first nook is where your pick should rest when you are strumming light chords, and the second nook is where your pick should rest when you are playing heavy chords or else soloing. In both cases, the proper way to hold the pick requires just three steps. Let's start with the soloing method of holding the pick. Step one is to gently place the pick in the second nook of your hooked finger, like so. Notice that this placement will use your natural, unique finger design to prevent the pick from sliding upward or vertically during play. Step two is to place your thumb over the middle of the pick. This will prevent the pick from sliding horizontally during play. Finally, step three simply requires that you hook your index finger and other fingers upward in order to ensure a clean contact with the string. Once you've completed these steps, you have nature's perfect grip for soloing. Now if you want your pick to have more give, as in the case where you are playing light chords, you'll need to create more space for the pick to move. In that case, you can use the same three-step process just explained, except that you use the first nook of your finger instead of the second. And that's all there is to it. This week's homework assignment is to apply the techniques that I just shared with you whenever you're playing the guitar. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you next time.